Well, ladies and gentlemen, the state of Virginia has completely lost their minds with this Virginia Values Act. What does it all mean? I'm going to break it down for you guys. Before we go any further, though, i got to get this out of the way. Why? Because people always ask me, why do you wear these ridiculous sunglasses? I wear them because I am blind. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not have sight privilege. It is true. Now, please give the video here a like. Share it across all of your platforms. Subscribe here if you are brand new. Click the bell to enable notifications. Hopefully, you'll actually get some. YouTube doesn't put many of them out, guys, so just check my channel on a regular basis so you don't miss any of my videos. Also, where you can really help me out is over on Patreon, where you can help support me for as little as $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link right down there in the description will take you there. It just takes a couple minutes to sign up. And not only does it help me out with those couple bucks my way, especially now with YouTube demonetizing the majority of these videos, but you also get all my exclusive bonus content where I talk a lot more about sensitive information. And unlike YouTube, you'll always get alerts and notifications for anything that I post on the Patreon platform. So thank you guys so much for the support with that. Let's talk about Chris Herring, this Christian wedding photographer in Virginia. He is suing the state of Virginia. Why? Well, because not only, not only are they dictating to him that he needs to photograph gay weddings, they're taking it a step further, also saying that he needs to basically publish those photos widely on his website and other platforms he had, uh, his blog and other areas like that, to promote this, to show the same-sex weddings out there to the rest of the state. Now, what is the Virginia Values Act? I mentioned that here at the beginning. This was a law or an amended law, if you will. It was signed by the governor, Ralph Northam himself. And oddly enough, he did this the day before Easter Sunday, which pretty much now adds sexual orientation and gender identity to the protected rights of discrimination now. So they are using this in, a, in an attempt to basically force Chris to have to you know, deny his own religious beliefs, go against what he believes, that being marriage between a man and a woman, and now say, if you don't produce these photos, if you don't, you know, produce, you know, go and be a photographer for a gay wedding, put these out on your website, promote it. We will find you. We will shut you down. We will force you out of business. This is what Virginia is trying to do to this man. Now, thankfully, he has sued the state. He's being represented by Alliance Defending Freedom. They're saying this is, you want to talk about discrimination. It's complete total discrimination against him forcing him to violate his religious beliefs. This is exactly what Virginia has wanted from the very beginning. And by the way, by the way, if that so-called Equality Act that the House of Representatives has already passed, if that ever gets signed into law on the federal level, that'll go into effect throughout the entire United States. So Chris won't be the only one affected by this. This is going to affect anybody of faith uh, that believes and sticks to their values no matter what. Chris even said it himself, you know, if you want someone to, uh, uh, you know, caption, you know, photos of drug lords or, or, or whatever and those type of things, I'm not your guy and I shouldn't be forced to do this. They're taking away his own artistic creativity, forcing him to do something that goes against what he believes uh, and his Christian beliefs. This is wrong. I hope he wins this lawsuit. Virginia has gone mad when it comes to the outrageous far left wing legislation this governor and the entire legislature there in Virginia have signed into law. It's a sign of the times, guys. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. I'll put some more information on this down below in the description. What do you guys think about this, what they're trying to force this guy to do? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.